everybody. Do one more reading and then I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Hopefully get through this virus. <sighs> Yucky. Anyway, this is a love reading. Let's see, where do I feel like starting? We'll go with the newest deck. So channel messages, things that are going on. Then we'll get into your person's feelings and some details about this love situation. So what does the collective need to know about their current love life, current situation? <laughs> Too many. Clear and precise messages today, please, sir. Your answer is no. Unalive spells. So somebody out there, a karmic, or somebody involved in this uh, situation where they don't want you two together, or this is like one of your exes, they're doing dark magic, but their answer is no, it's not going to work. You are protected. I'm literally seeing almost the same feather, but smaller outside in the grass. Confirmation, you are spiritually protected. Manifest specialist. So yeah, you are a powerful manifester. Um, you can really manifest anything you want. I feel like this karmic energy is jealous of that. Or they know that you're about to come into union for some of you. Or they know you, maybe you're about to get married or uh, uh, buy a house or have a baby. Some milestone in your relationship. And there's a hater raider in the mix here. This could be a family member. This could be an ex. This could be a friend that's very, very jealous of this connection. They're literally trying to um, kill you with dark magic. But the answer is no, it's not going to work. Give it to the light. You don't give it your energy. You don't give it your time. All you simply do is return to sender. Any evil that was sent towards me, any dark magic that was sent towards me, I return to sender times 10 so that they never do spells on me or my name again. So mote it be and so it is. That's what you say. Or I call all my energy transmuted and healed back to myself. No one is allowed to affect, manipulate, or use my energy. I have a force field around me, and only God himself can penetrate it and believe it to be 100% true. And I promise you, no witchcraft on this earth will ever touch you. But I did see sage. You might, sage is very beneficial to you. It calms your nerves. It, it banishes bad things away from you. They can't stand it. Uh, Palo Santo does the same thing. Frankincense, mirth. You can get all of these in incense as well. You don't need a smudge stick. Um, you can order them on Amazon. Lighting a white candle is a positive intention for clarity and hope and healing and f for cleansing. Never go wrong with a white candle. Could be dealing with a Virgo here. It is approaching Virgo season. I think we're still in Leo right now. Ooh, your answer is yes. So if you are going after a Virgo or if you are a Virgo, you're getting a specific yes. We have a fallen angel. Yeah, somebody who um, has spiritual gifts, but they don't use them in the light. Maybe they did at one point or they pretend to be, um, but they are this fallen angel. They are definitely trying to get into your relationship and manipulate it. Maybe you're this Virgo or you're going after a Virgo with a Virgo. Um, but Virgo to me is keeping things to yourself energy, just being by yourself. You could be recluse, not in a relationship. Love could be coming in for you. Um, or this is just keeping a relationship uh, quiet and protect it in your little love nest. I did see Sagittarius, but it did not come out. Give it a few more whirls with this one. Fame, superstar, massive success. So this could be what's coming for you or already has come. Uh, <laughs> But I think the confirmation is yes, you are going to reach this level of fame. Um, 
Oh my God, see, there's that karmic energy trying to block it. Someone's trying to stop this fame coming in for you. It's not going to happen, boo-boo. You are meant for this. Your answer is yes. They are the fallen angel. Maybe um, they wanted to be famous. They're not going to be because they're doing dark shit to dark people. You're out here doing good, just focusing on your own shit. So your abundance is going to come in. Please don't worry about this other person. Maybe you've been fretting about it. Maybe you've had a week like me. Um, I had that thought too. Like this came in threes. This is definitely dark magic stuff. I know what's up. I know how to protect myself. You could be getting alerts. That could be confirmation that yes, you need to do some cord cutting. You need to do return to sender. And you need to say some protective prayers and cleanse your energy. Get a blessing, a house blessing. Just reset the energy because you're moving forward one way or the other. But it's only going to help like get rid of this freaking gnat. Um, if you see flies around, like I literally, ugh, look at, I have no fucking reason for it. I literally said that a little fruit fly. I don't have any fruit right now. So yeah, there's monitoring spirits around. You just wait. I'm going to squish that monitoring spirit. <laughs> social media connection met on social media or a dating app. So this could be somebody you're not into union with. You could just be talking to them online. Um, or you found someone online that you're really into. It doesn't have to be a love thing, but maybe they're inspiring you to step away from people that aren't good for you, um, or you're diving into your divinity of some kind through social media. But for most of you, I feel like you're about to find love uh, through social media, or you already are speaking to someone. This is popping. Scared of rejection or response. Um, maybe you're scared to reach out tell someone you, how you feel maybe you're fearing that you're not going to be what they want or vice versa this person could be scared to reach out to you anything else oh roadblocks yeah you are experiencing some roadblocks in this relationship and um because it is this dark energy but also some of your self-doubt um, maybe you're still doubting that you're capable of being famous or that you're capable of having love and fame at the same time or that you're capable of finding true love or deserving of it. There's still this level of I don't feel good enough or lack mentality that's stopping um, you from your success and spirits here to tell you like you are a star you are meant for this you can have love and you can have what you love to do but it's got to be the right person because who can really love you true and look at your passion and be like I'm sick of you doing that all the time I don't feel like that's true love and I know I get a lot of shit for this especially if there's like kids and somebody's involved but everybody knows what they're getting into at that point if you are with somebody who is trying to be famous or if you are with somebody who is going already famous going to be on the road you should expect them to be gone and you should be able to have that emotional maturity to trust each other while you are gone and make the family dynamic work for you and if you can't handle the brunt of things don't get into that that could be a warning here like really ask yourself if you can handle going after your dreams and a relationship it could be a wake-up call that maybe love for you is just love for your talent right now um it's only going to be true for some of you but for majority of you i feel like you're questioning whether it's possible to chase your dreams and have a healthy relationship and then what if you get some success and you got to be on the road is the relationship going to be able to withstand that and you're like overthinking it to death you need to get out of this analytical Virgo energy because it's acting as a roadblock. You're not taking movement for some of you because you're questioning whether you can fit your dream and love together or if you can get free of something that maybe you've already established that is dead or dying and you're like I don't know if I even want to go through this there is that energy of overthinking like it just feels too much you're too much in your mind and it's psyching you out is what I'm getting at anything else for this deck oh my goodness baby boom generation so this could be a parent here dark coven investigation 
Healing from Grief, Sex Magic, Cult, Dark Oath. Yeah, there's like a nasty little, this could be a mother energy. This could be someone's mom, like your whole life has just been a smother. You know, it's, it's literally the roadblock between you and love. Like, no one's ever good enough for me. Like, they always cause trouble with the people I'm with. But I feel like you need to set some freaking boundaries and you need to push that person back. Because one, some of you, they are a dark person. This is an older person. This could be a mom. This could be an aunt or just somebody who is older than you. Maybe there's a fucking monitoring fly again. Uh, I'm going to get it. It's my fault. I just opened the window to feed the critter that probably got in here. Annoying. Hate monitoring spirits. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like I feel like either you lost an older person and you're like really lovesick in the heart as far as missing someone and you just don't have the room for love and that is your roadblock. Like you have to heal from grief. However, most of you are healing a very from a very tragic fucking relationship because th that person was dirty as fuck. With this dark oath, with this sex magic, um, this person could have like had a baby with you to trap you, could have used your money, your fame, your success, whatever, for their own gains. And this person hunted you um, as an asset, not for love. I get narcissistic, rude energy. There's somebody very dark that either you gave them the boot and they're still fucking butthurt and they can't get over it. So their whole mission in life is just to make sure you're not happy. It's not going to fucking work. But what a dark soul. Pray for them. Like what a lost dark soul. They, they need to deal with their shit. That's not your problem. Don't give it your energy. Look forward to what you do deserve and what you can achieve and I feel like a lot of your dark thoughts about yourself is coming from this dark magic. It is coming from maybe someone you're sleeping with. When you are mixing energy with this person, they're pretending to... Oh, I got it. Goodbye, little monitoring spirit. Not allowed here. Monitor someone else's table. <laughs> I'll squish them. <laughs> anyway. Like, bottom line... If anybody's doing dark shit to get to you, whether they're manipulating food, whether they're manipulating you through sex, whether they're doing candle magic or spells, all of that shit really just comes back down on them, their own selves. And when you aren't aware of it and you aren't protecting your energy, you are susceptible. But I feel like either through this reading or in your life, you are savvy to the fact that this is a dark motherfucker. You don't like their energy. You're sensing that this person is going to try to stop your success in some way. You are or will be soon looking at this person as an enemy. And they very much are your enemy. Especially with you, this light being. This is supposed to be about love. But I think they're also trying to stop your success. I think you might have massive, massive success with a new lover. Like power couple energy. Maybe what they wanted with you, you're going to have with someone else. And they're fucking pissed. Well, too bad for them. They can suck it. <laughs> Let's see what else. Trust your inside voice. Exactly. Trust that feeling in yourself. Like, that person is bad energy. Like, oh, I don't want to be around them. But at the same time, trust your inside voice when somebody's pulling on your heartstrings in a genuine sense. Like, you genuinely like their energy. You genuinely love them no matter who, what, where, when, why, how it's going to fit, all that shit. Put it aside. Trust your inside voice. Your inside voice is saying, I love them. That's all that fucking matters. Everything else is 3D bullshit and can be arranged at your will. Power, powerful manifester you. Like, get out of this 3D bubble. You aren't realizing your own power here, darling. You need to. Karmic temper tantrums. Yep. There's that baby mama, baby daddy, using them kids to fucking linger over you like a puppet. Maybe you're tied up in money. 
Maybe they're not signing the divorce papers. They're being dicks. They know they lost you. They know the game is over. They know you're on to things. Like, they can't, none of their magic is working. It, I feel like they're imploding. Their life is falling apart, but it's not like they're able to regain it. Like, everyone's gonna have a week like me, where you get sick, car shit, you know, family stuff. It doesn't mean you're being punished. If anything, it's a test. I got through it, I'm getting through it. I have a positive attitude. I'm not talking about that. There's somebody in your life who's like getting shit, just con consistently thrown at them and they have, they don't have the capability to be positive about it. Woe is me, the universe is out to get me. I'm a victim and now it's just like, what can I collect? What can I collect in my satchel as I'm getting kicked out? They want your money. They want to disgrace you. They want to ruin you because their meal ticket for some of the for some of them you've taken care of this person, or they expected you to, and their dreams are being crushed. Well, boohoo! Go out there and earn it for your fucking self, karma. And get no pity at my table. <laughs> Could be a Taurus here. Uh, marriage commitment contracts the hierophant card very spiritual money based i think you're married to someone who is having a fucking temper tantrum because they either are sensing you're moving on you're sensing you got someone else or they know the jake's up this is definitely someone you were married to long term have kids with but I do feel like for some of you, you're also looking at someone who's very spiritual. You're being inspired. I think you're falling in love a little bit for some of you. Fear of rejection, failure, that came out again. You're scared to tell your truth. Karmic snake in the grass. Family, friend, coworker, or boss. Someone close to you is out for your downfall. Yeah, you think this person's your best friend, bro, sis. They are not. They're leading you away from your person because they're jealous of your connection. They know that you and your person are going to far exceed them and their person. This is 100% jealousy. And they act like you are the center of their whole world, that they love you, that, you know, this is a good actor, actress. It's a fucking snake in the grass. Will you spend your life with me? Online connection or relationship? Again, you are watching someone online and you're in love. You want a life with that person, but you already got something for some of you, or you are like so far deep in your career, like you don't know how to make this work. It doesn't have to be a karmic lover. It could be a karmic boss. Like it's pissed. They're pissed that you're putting your two weeks notice to go stateside so you can build this relationship. You know, it could be anything like that. But for some of you, it is a spouse that you're just done with. Yeah, because you're on a twin flame journey. I think you met your twin flame online or you're about to. I keep seeing a very pregnant Robin. So either you are pregnant with someone now or you're going to have babies or this is a new journey for you. Birth, rebirth is what Robins represent. Empress energy as well. They will say yes. See, get out of this rejection. If you ask this person that you are like in love with to marry you, the will you spend your life with me? They will say yes. Home is a war zone, but you're with somebody toxic. Um, again, this could be family members. Maybe your parents live with you or whatever. Or friends live with you. Um, you could be traveling with your staff and like you're staying with them in the hotel, whatever it is. Home is a fight because you want this connection. Spirit guides and family. Yeah, your ancestral beings, your your spirit guides, your spirit team is pushing you towards this love. And they're trying to expose these toxic, dark people. Yeah, let that shit go. Let that karmic go. Let that dark energy go. Don't let them affect you or influence you. Yeah, co-parenting struggles. They're using kids against you. That's not going to work, you know. At the end of the day, if you are an active parent, both physically, financially, you've been there the whole time, like, you have rights as a parent. And just because they say a bunch of shit out of their mouth, it has to be ordered by a judge. File the fucking paperwork, take that person to court, and 
you know, make a healthy plan for you and the kids with the judge that they can't touch and manipulate. And if being away from that person, if they're mean or hostile to your kids and you need to go, go for full custody, do that. Like, I'm, I'm feeling this, that spirit's trying to tell you, like, you need to stand up to this person. Like, you don't get a say in what I can and can't do with my own children. I have rights. I am the biological mother or father of this child. I have taken care of this child. I have paid for this child. Everybody knows I'm a good parent. There's nothing you could say or do to take my rights from me. I will see you in court. And do not speak to that person again outside of like a, a second party save everything that they send you all these malicious rants and texts or whatever do not fucking respond just save that shit just save it aside for court and keep continuing to actively show up to your kids events to pick them up to pay for things uh, and document it on social media i don't give a fuck Take a picture with your kid every fucking week so you can prove in court, oh, I haven't seen my kids in six weeks. Well, how come I have a picture of them posted every fucking week on my social media? And you can, like, hold up a piece of paper with the date. You two both holding it. So nobody can fucking say that it was a photo from a long time ago. Set yourself up for success because this person is grimy. Grimy as fuck. I went to law school. I'm also a tarot reader, so I'm going to tell you some good shit, okay? <laughs> the angels are protecting you. Yeah, I saw the feather for sure. Ready for love or dating? You are ready for love and dating, but I feel like you're caught up in this, like, custody battle. You do, you're falling in love. You want to put your energy and time into this other thing, but you either are fighting for your kids, trying to get divorced, figuring out how this is coming together, I think of you as my spouse. You're my one. Yeah, you want this person to be your spouse, whether you're in something or not. Like, you're seeing something you really like and want, and you are ready to go towards it, but there are roadblocks. And for some of you, this is court, kids, divorce, um, trying to find a new job or put your two weeks in or something. It's just a lot. Let's see your feelings about this person that you are either about to meet or currently no I think for most of you you know this person I've been working on myself and focusing on what I want to do and where I want to go from here I used to be so consumed by you and coming into union that I put myself on the back burner not anymore I'm happy in my own skin and I'm happy on my own it's not all about you anymore it's all about loving me so this is definitely a twin flame journey. Um, maybe you are watching this person kind of cut you off a little bit because you have all this stuff going on or vice versa. Maybe you cut this person off because it was intense and you just needed to focus on yourself. That could be the currently the energy you're in. Like you do see this person as a spouse, but you're just not there yet. You need to love yourself and rebuild or that this is what you are being inspired by this person. This person could have, gone through a heartbreak talked about it with you or on social media and they're out here loving themselves and working on themselves and it's inspiring you to do the same thing i've never told you how i feel or that i like you i watch you under a different name on social media i ask around in a secret way about you i'm watching you carefully waiting to make my move i just want to learn everything about you i'm pulled to you in a way no one has hooked me before so yeah, this person has no idea that you like them. You're a little bit of a creeper. As in, maybe you are a famous person or somebody well-known or somebody who's still known to be married, so you can't use your real name. I don't feel like you're doing this to be a malicious way. You're doing this to protect yourself and the future of this relationship, um, especially if you're not finished with something. I don't know how things got so complicated. I'm desperate to make the things right again so maybe there is some bad blood between the two of you you don't know i love you yeah this person has no idea you want them i know you're going through a lot right now so i'm giving you time but i wish you would reach out to me i want to help you so this person is in your eyes going through some shit and you wish that you could come in and save the day for them you got me in my feels everything you do is cool and inspiring and i can't get enough of you I can't stop looking at you. I can't stop thinking of you. I'm obsessed with you. 
I watch your social media every day to see what you're up to. I'm drawn to you so much right now. <laughs> you're a little bit of a stocky stock on social media twice. No judgment. You're just in love and it's cute. I think it's cute. No harm, no foul. I don't feel like you're a psycho stalker. <laughs> Let's see how they feel about you. If, um, if there's any feelings on their end. This can be energetically just feeling love being sent their way or they know you specifically. Do they have any feelings for the collective? Ooh. I let you go to see if I'm willing to fight for in your eyes. Yeah, this person cut you. They're like, I don't think this person is legit. I don't think they're really saying what they mean because they have all this shit going on. How could they have all this shit going on and love me at the same time? They don't believe you. That's why they pulled back. What's their truth, spirit? Oh, God. I'm fed up of you never seeing my worth or seeing the truth of our connection. You're a runner. I know you love me too, but you won't face me. I'm frustrated with you. Oh boy, <laughs> they um, they got a little butt hurt when you got intimidated and ran, or you still are. Maybe you didn't come to them correct. They're like, "Oh fuck no, I am your divine counterpart." They're a little. I don't feel like they're rage out, yell at, scream at you, mad, but they're like, "Really, really, collective? I know you love me. What the fuck are you doing over there with that shit?" <laughs> yeah they have intense feelings for you too but they're trying to shut them off maybe they don't see you leaving your karmic or getting out of your mess for them but they just think it's like a, a bit of a fairy tale there is a little bit of hurt um you hurt them in some way by um not seeing their worth not choosing them not reaching out let's see what's going on with you what's going on with you yeah, hide in yourself. Stocky stocking. It's okay, collective. No judgment. You know, you do weird shit when you fall in love. Love that makes you do crazy things. <laughs> What's going on with your person? What is going on with your person? Sure don't like to talk, do they? They do have passion for you. They could be working on a passion project. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they think I think they're very uh, on to the fact that this karmic seduces you back and you go running back to them like you're addicted to somebody's um, sex and it's not theirs that could be majority why they're pissed yeah girl with a snake mm -hmm. they not remember the snake in the grass energy they see exactly who your karmic is and exactly what they're doing they would probably stand them right in the face and be like yeah do you start to not like that person maybe like a week or two of not having sex with them you start having these feelings of like why why am i here like this person is awful and then all of a sudden they sleep with you and you're like oh life is great don't you think that's weird don't you <laughs> it's like sarcasm here but yeah they they think you're addicted to this drama and this karmic and that you pick them over that karmic over them you you broke their heart and yeah they don't want it to keep happening they don't want to be the rebound they don't want to be um holding a candle for you while you're in something else they feel oh you're being a little bit narcissistic but mostly that you're with a narcissist look at they do want your ring i think they tell people in their life but they want to be with you. But you need to clean your shit up. Like they, you need to make an effort to show this person that they are the one. That you're not going to keep running back to your addictions or to an ex. Like there's no clear boundary established that things are over on your end with other people. And until that happens, this person's like, mm, nope. Alright, so let's see the near future. For this connection before i close out this reading friends and colleagues so you might um like come together on a project or bump into each other at a social event uh, or you're gonna start not feeling uh, 
like you like your job or where you're at like life is gonna slowly become dull without this person because you're meant to go towards this person especially if it's a twin flame journey but i think you're also going to be realizing the snakes in the grass in the near future the inside circle snakes that really are are out to get you yeah you're gonna you're gonna cut your losses here i think you're letting go of friends i think you're letting go of lovers i think you're letting go of things that don't align with your divine purpose you're just done with the past you're done with being used you do have a lot of dark thoughts here there's going to be some anger where you feel betrayed here um, when you realize these snakes in the grass you're going to stand back in your power you're going to put your foot down and you're going to end this karmic shit, whatever that karmic yeah and transform yourself this is all about self transforming and changes and you're going to take steps towards that person um, building with the person you actually want to be with you're not running anymore you're running towards running to not running away there is going to be um we need to keep this to ourselves or i just want to protect this relationship um, but to me, this is taking things slow, doing your due diligence, making sure this is the right relationship for you guys. Um, I think you both want to take it slow. You are going to achieve something great if you do a project together. I do see work energy, a, a creative endeavor of some kind. Um, but you are going to achieve this power couple status, this uh, fame. It could be any level of fame, just in your community or worldwide. You know, you're going to be known as a power couple. There is going to be some strife. Um, there might be back and forth. Like, you guys are from two different um, places or there's work obligations. Maybe you're, you're traveling together. Um, but there is going to be some conflict between the old world and the old you and this new world you're building and the new you and making it all fit. Not everyone is for you. Not everyone's going to be happy and that's going to be a hard lesson and it's going to cause some fights and some turmoil. There's going to have to be sacrifices made. Like it's going to be a lot. It's going to be intense and you're going to feel like drained and depleted at some times or that you have to give your energy to two things but look we have new beginnings everything's going to be okay you are going to have a baby with somebody down the road but this is a new relationship a new start a new happy cycle yeah that's going to increase you financially increase your status increase your fame you're in lack now and you're going to Everything that has kept you in lack, including your own dark thoughts, you're kicking that. And you're going towards what you want, but it's going to get messy for a minute. I do see you standing by each other, traveling back and forth, being thankful for each other, committing to each other. Um, yeah, victim mentality and fame. It's like, I feel like people are going to give you some shit. Um, they might, you know call somebody that you're with like a home wrecker or whatever i don't see that affecting your relationship i think you two are taking one is very slow you're very protective of this relationship you're keeping it quiet you're making quiet moves but you're very dedicated to each other in the sense of i don't give a fuck what other people say at the end of the day you are the one i want to go to sleep with and wake up with and have a baby with and all of this shit is going to smooth over we just got to get through the storm you you guys are the boat on the water we just got to make it sail through this storm it will all settle and we'll build our life and you're going to become this beloved couple but i do feel like there's going to be a lot of hate thrown at your relationship a lot of miscommunication and rumors and it's more to do with other people it's not the two of you it's this outside world doing everything they can to keep you two apart and you two recognizing that stopping it and finding a plan that works for you but it's going to be holy hellfire but you're worth you're worth it to this person and that person is worth it to you and come hell or high water you're going to fight for this and you're going to win collect up so i hope this was helpful I need to go get some rest. I got to go back to work tomorrow. But thank you for distracting me from my yucky.
feeling sickiness. <laughs> I'll see you all again soon. Bye.